Hello, Kevin here. And where are we today? Aren't they good? Anyway, today we are actually driving around and we're seeing buildings that, well, I've never seen this one before, but Steve has. We're by the Lich Gates to Holy Trinity in Privet. Now, this is a church. We have had a look inside and it is amazing absolutely amazing and this is being looked after by um the people that look after churches i can't remember the name thank you steve churches conservation trust and this is the entrance the porch to the north side just look at this now the thing you do see when you're driving along the road is that that is just amazing it's a mixture of stone and flint i think it's flint built as well but just have a look at this entrance porch look at the detail we've got probably a king up the top there and this is the doors to the porch and there's a notice here that tells you all about the church's conservation trust we're going to have a look on the inside first, but just look at this amazing door. Look at this. And I've said this in several videos recently. Our friend Mark English would be very, very jealous of this. S astonishing, absolutely amazing. Look at the ironwork in there. We're going to we're going to head on in now, and uh, this is a Victorian church, as it happens. Yeah, it's built, it's built between 1876 and 1878 at a cost of £22,000, would you believe? Yeah. Which would have been a lot of money in those days. Absolutely. Um, but it was replacement of a small medieval building, um, which obviously, I don't know why it went. But uh, yeah, there always was a church here. Yeah. But this is, I think it's just out in the middle of nowhere. It is, isn't it? It's huge. Absolutely huge. Just look at this tree stump, and without a doubt, this would have been an an old yew tree. Look at that. It's huge. Look, I want to go round the outside now very quickly. Unfortunately, my batteries are getting very low. And we've done a lot of filming today, but I'm at the west end of the church. Just look at this tower. It is astonishing. Look at that, set against a blue sky. Isn't that wonderful? So I'm gonna head round this way to the south side of the church. Try and fit in as much as I can from this side avoid the snowdrops. It's under a tiled roof but predominantly stone and flint. But look at the windows up there. Isn't that lovely? You've got this south aisle or transept. You've got buttresses all the way along the side. Just here on the corner, just here, I'm assuming around the other side, you've also got a double buttress supporting this on the south side. And there's the tower from another angle. Look at that. Isn't this astonishing? headstones and gravestones all over the place here. So I'm at the east end of the church now. Got stained glass windows dotted about on the walls here, which we hopefully will see on the inside. Got a small door down at the bottom there. So I'm right round on the east end of the church now. 
and those are the big stained glass windows on the east end of the church which is where the chancel is and just here we've got the cross there for that stone set into the wall as I mentioned about the double buttresses another one here and there was one there on the on the southeast corner and huge rainwater pipes coming down taking all the water away into little gullies at the bottom of the wall so I'm coming back round onto the north side now let me just try and work my way round between these here look the sun's just come up into my face there look at that isn't that lovely we've got king, is it kings or bishops up here between the two windows there one is playing an, a harp well I've come back round to the south side of Holy Trinity and just beside me is actually a beacon just there look at that but these are the views from Holy Trinity at Privet isn't that wonderful look at this I'll pan round away to my right hand side I've got two buzzards swooping around above the fields and if I pan back round they're just up there I, this camera won't pick them up unfortunately Well, we're just going to go into Holy Trinity now, but first of all, you see the impressive doors with the ironwork. We've got no information about in here at all, so it's really a question of me winging it a bit and telling you as I see it. And just in front of me, uh, at the west end, near the west end door, is the font, and it's on uh, columns, which look as if they may be marble on a large stone plinth with some rather impressive carving here. Just here we've got this lovely old farm carriage or trailer and this is right underneath the west end tower. Just look at that, isn't that wonderful? But let me just tilt up into the tower and this is the window above the west end door which is a beautiful stained glass window and it's all stone inside the walls are stone the columns and pillars they're all stone so I'm in the nave of the church now and and on the ends of each arch you've got a grotesque depicting um, different, different people. But let me just show you up into the roof space. Look at that, isn't that astonishing? Look at the timber in that roof. And we've got one, two, three, four arches on either side in the, in the nave. The lovely stained glass windows along the north aisle and if I pan round onto the south aisle or south transept we've got similar to what we saw earlier on knights um, with their swords or their, their, their staffs this one looks like it might be somebody from the crusade just here And his name is Godfrey. I can't pronounce that. Bon Bouillon. This one here is 
Remember in the Lord John Sanctuary Nicholson, or Nicholson possibly, uh, 19th of May 1863 to 21st of February 1924. Um, and there's another one here. It says three brothers, Clement, uh, Octavius, Edward, and Nicholson. 7th of August 1874 to 4th of January 1938. We've got this plaque on the wall here. Uh, to the glory of God and the remembrance of Geoffrey Maul Nicholson, Captain DCO Hampshire and Isle of Wight Artillery Militia, who lost his life during Ju July the 12th, 1901, at the age of 29, in the effort to save the life of one of his workmen, this tablet is erected by his brother, officers, past and present, as a token of their affection and respect. He counted not his life dear unto himself. So let me just go along further along the south aisle. There's another plaque there to William Nicholson. And another one just here. It's very difficult to read because the lighting in here is not very good at all. That one's to Elancer, Eliza Hansford. So I'm underneath a small arch here, going into this. Uh, it looks like another little chapel with some beautiful stained glass windows here. And I'm just hoping that this camera is going to pick this up because. As I say, the lighting is not good at all. So I'm just going to come out from here now and look towards... I'm actually in the chancel area now. And look at this reredos around the back of the altar. That is absolutely stunning. It's, it's plain stone, carved stone. And we've got, I think, different angels along the top here on either side and you've got the sedelia seats either side of the altar you've got three here and we've got two three on the other side rather impressive again as, as we mentioned earlier on this is a victorian uh church but it is rather lovely inside the ceilings are incredibly high but look at this, this is mosaic stonework here around the, the front of the altar and again to the sides and behind just below where the reredos is there. I haven't seen a piscina or an ombre in, in this church. Again, mosaic tiling on this bit here. Choir um, stalls here to the left and right. We have a stone um, pulpit. <clears throat> Again, beautiful carving with columns of look like marble there. And an angel just here. Let me just move round. That is rather lovely. Let me just look back along the north aisle. As you can see, it's all stonework everywhere, along on all the walls, the columns. I mentioned the the heads and faces of the men at the ends of the arch curves. I would like to see what's on the other side actually to see if there's anything that's the same. No it's not. It just looks like it's a possibly a rose. But as we said just now, this was just one. We were driving along the road 
um, and we looked up and we saw the incredibly tall steeple outside and we thought let's go and have a look see what we can find but the chancel area is stunning absolutely beautiful just look at that lovely just in front of us we've got these information boards this says privets early history privets shops pubs and trades and then there's some other ones on this side oh nicholson's gin and then another one here the nicholson family And then Privet and Meehan Valley Railway. 